Hi, my name is Anne Carl and I'm a design team member for LuluArt 2017. Today I'm going to share my process with you for my journal page titled Love What You Have Hanging Around. My go-to paper is the Strathmore Mixed Medium. It's a 300 GSM and it's got a beautiful smooth vellum finish. Today for the background I'm using the Delusions paint and I'm applying that with the mini ink blending tool. It just makes the job so much quicker, applies it very smoothly and it's a really quick clean up. So next I'm just creating a tree trunk, picking up um, a bit of the brown and the white at the same time turning my angle brush on its chisel to create the smaller fine lines and using it on its flat edge to um, fill in the larger areas. Here I've used a piece of tracing paper so I can actually see where the shoulder straps of the dress should actually sit because of the unevenness of the branch. Now to find three pieces of scrapbooking paper that you feel go nicely together. Now I've traced around the template on the reverse side of the paper so when I flip it over if I haven't cut that neatly there'll be no pencil marks left showing. I assemble the dress tacking it together with a few dots of glue before applying a even coat of gel medium to the back of it before positioning it on my page. I feel there's a bit of an empty space so I pick up a scrap of the mixed media paper and draw a little teddy bear. I use my fine point waterproof pens in brown and black just to go around the outline of the teddy bear and fill in his little facial features before I erase my pencil lines. I draw on my Teflon mat with my Tombow pen and with my broad water brush I pick up the ink and apply it to the teddy bear in choppy little strokes. I'm not after a really smooth coverage here. I want it choppy and soft like teddy bear fur. Now that my teddy bear's first coat is dry, I'm going to apply some shadows to him to give him a little bit more dimension. I've swapped now to my fine tip water brush. This just gives me a little bit more control of where I'm actually placing the color. What I'm doing is creating some shadows. So I'm looking at the darkest parts or where the shadows would be cast and I'm just filling them in and making them a little bit darker. Here I'm applying touches of a golden yellow just to enhance my teddy bear and reapplying some of that first colour to those darker areas. I've chosen a colour here that I feel complements the pieces of scrapbooking paper that I've used in the dress. Now I'm going to apply some shading and some highlighting to the dress. I've started out here using the Tombow pens again, um, again on the Teflon mat and the water brush. Now this you might have to do a little bit of um, experimenting on some scrap pieces of paper that you've used on your dress. You'll find different pieces of paper will react very differently. The polka dot paper that I've used for the bodice of the dress is extremely porous. So I was unable to draw directly onto the paper. Otherwise it just would have been exactly as I drew it, no time to actually water it down and spread it out. I 
I'm continuing to build colour on my dress and now I've picked up my Prismacolor pencils. You'll see that I don't stick with one particular colour. Um, I'll grab any colour that I feel goes well together and I use it all over the dress. I just don't concentrate it in one particular area and I'll go back and forth between those pencils, either deepening the pleats that I have on the dress or just adding a little bit more shape to the dress to make it look more rounder. I feel it's time now to stick my little teddy bear on so again I get out my gel medium and apply just that nice even coat to the back before positioning it on my page. Using the same Prisma pencils and the colours that I've previously used on the dress um, I'll apply touches of that to my teddy bear just to tie him into my overall page. I'm now breaking up that big block of green colour that I added there in the beginning just with a couple of different green Prisma pencils. I'm just using some of the Prisma colour pencils now to further enhance the tree. When I created it in the beginning I used a brush mix of the brown and the white so I have already got some character there but the pencils will just help bring that out. So what I've done is I've extended the twiggy branches at the end and I've also carried those colours that I've used within the tree further into my um, design. So I've put touches on the teddy bear and a few touches within the dress. Now in the beginning I intentionally left a void within this page because I wanted to put a short message or a little verse in there just to finish my page off. Now I had a bit of a writer's blank there so hubby came to the rescue. So this is what he's come up with. After a quick little look-see I decided on their positioning so out came that gel medium again and um, I stuck them on. So out comes my fine point black waterproof pen again and I've loosely just drawn some rectangles around these words but I haven't got a lot of other black within my design so what I'm doing is now I'm just adding touches of black to the rest of my design just to tie it in together to make it look like that it should be there. Now those white rectangles are really standing out so to tie it in I've just picked up some of the colours that I've used throughout my design and just added touches to each rectangle just to push it further into that background. Now just to finish my piece I'm just going to add a few little pink butterflies. So out comes my delusion paint again. I've made a mix of the pink and the white. I've got my little finger dabber there because the butterflies that I'm actually using on my stencil are the very small petite ones. So I'm just adding them making sure that I actually overlap some of the design elements with this particular stencil. Again it just helps put it all together and makes it more cohesive. I've just used my brown fine tip pen just to add little bodies to my little butterfly stencils and give them some little antennae. The paint of my butterflies could be still a little bit moist so I just make sure that I um, have a little piece of paper there so I can scribble any of the coating off the, the nib of my pen before I put it away. So now I'm just um, adding a little bit of a, a darker blue pencil just to give it a little bit more depth again um, and just shading under my words. Again I just felt they were just sticking out there um, and they weren't really part of it so this will just help tie it all in together. Now I'm also adding touches of a navy Tombow with my water brush again using it throughout my whole design just to continue to keep tying it all together. I've decided to add a little bit of a scalloped lace to the bottom edge of her first skirt. So I'm just creating some scallops with my black pen. 
um, again touching it here and there on the dress just to tie it all together and I'm filling that in with my uni ball white pen now again being very mindful that I am going over the top of other mediums so I clean as I go um, just so that little nib keeps up free and continues to roll for the next time that I use it also wanting to add a, a little bit of sparkle there so I've just highlighted some of the circles with my sparkly jelly pen it's been a pleasure sharing my processes with you today be sure to pop over to luluart.com.au for all your art supplies